Hey. Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show. Happy 2022. This is my first, our first show of the year. And I'm honored and excited to have my friend, uh, also a, a guest member in the past, the one and only Rhea Clark is with us. Good morning, Rhea, How, or afternoon, I guess. How are you doing? <laughs> Hi, Ted. Happy New Year. Good afternoon. So great to see you. Great to see you. We were just chatting before we went live about how <laughs> Uh, we spent our holidays, and now we're getting ready to kick it back into gear. Yes, let's so do this. This year, amazing event, which I believe is the 29th. Yes. Um, give them a little information about you. Let's 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 uh, for people who didn't tune in last time, give us a little 411 on Rhea Clark. Oh, okay, great. Um, of course, my name's Rhea Clark, and I started a um, nonprofit organization called Wine and Conversation. Um, it basically is to talk about different topics in the community over a glass of wine. Um, I have a seventh event coming up, which is called Mental Health. Ladies, how you doing? Men, y'all all right? It's a, mental, <laughs> it's a mental health awareness pop-up shop, I'm calling it, um, where I have different clinicians and um, psychiatrists and therapists that will be in the building who will be able to assist with anyone who is currently looking for a therapist or a counselor and to also give important information about mental health, what it entails. And, you know, what are some of the steps in choosing a therapist or a counselor that will fit your needs for the trauma experience and things of that nature? And then we have a speaker and vendors and we're going to do a lot of um, games, mind, you know, mind games just to help people to, you know, how to meditate and different things like that. Just to, um, you know, just exercise your mind. I love, and, I you love know. the title because uh, I think a lot of people don't get asked. Uh, we, we, don't, we forget to ask people if they're all right, if they're OK. And I think it's so mm -hmm. important to focus on that because sometimes that one little ask can make a huge difference in somebody's life. But before we get more, because I have more questions about the event. Why? Why did you form this uh, nonprofit? What was the reasoning, rationale, history behind that? Um, the, well, the reason why I decided to do Wine and Conversation, wine, of course, I love to drink wine. And of course, people that know me know I love to talk. But what the thing about me talking is I love to learn and I love to listen and I love to hear about other people's, you know, stories that are inspiring and uplifting and motivating to also help me with my life. So it started with four or five women um, bring, bringing a glass of wine and bringing some refreshments. And we would just talk about different topics like our husbands, our children, the workplace, girlfriends, um, just all kinds of things that we were experiencing once a year. I mean, you know, just not once a year, but, you know, just always day to day. I'm sorry. Yes. And um, it went from four women to now over 200 people. Wow. Yes. And um, I decided to also incorporate, you know, supporting small black businesses or some more supporting small businesses um, in the area. So I created so I brought in vendors. So it just all just started coming together of how I wanted to do things. And the passion behind it is because these are conversations, uncomfortable conversations that need to be talked about in the community. Um, I came up from an era where everything was hush hush. You know, if it happens in the house, it stays in the house. You don't go out here telling our business and what's going on. But what's tending to happen is that when we're holding those different things in, it's affecting us a little bit more than others. And some things, of course, once the trauma or whatever the situation in situation is is over some of us can heal from it and move on but then some of us need that additional help to be able to sort out our thoughts and figure out what's going on so i wanted to talk about those uncomfortable conversations like um just to give you a couple of topics we've done was my skin is beautiful you know, with colorism, you know, a lot of people think because you're light skin or you're mixed or you're dark, you know, those mean something and it shouldn't because we're all mixed with so many different heritage and cultures. So, you know, yeah, I can say I'm black, but then when we go to do our history, I'm mixed with a lot of things that I just found out. So 
that was a good topic. And then we did um, blended families. You know, nowadays people are coming into relationship with children, in-laws, parents. You know, how do you blend your family to make sure that we can create this great family? Um, my kids can love your, you just because you're not a father doesn't mean you can't be a, you know, a figure, a, a father figure. Because we, where I grew up, you know, the community was a village. You know, Miss May across the street was able to say, hey, sit down, don't touch that. You know, it was a community of disciplinarian people who raised us. And um, so that was our blended family. Even if you had, you know, the traditional mom, dad, brother, and sister, well, now it's not that way no more. So we did the blended families edition. And then we put what love is and what love isn't. You know, so, you know, just different topics that are uncomfortable. And I figure put a bunch of strangers together to talk about these topics opposed to your family and your friends. You can get some, you know, raw, raw conversation. You get real, raw feedback. You get real feedback instead of because a lot of times our close family and friends or close friends and family, they they'll tell us what we want to hear or. They don't actually, like you said, they're not raw about things. Mm -hmm. It's so important to have the uncomfortable conversations. I love, uh, I'll go back to the title because I think it's so important. Checking on people and making sure people are okay is Mm -hmm. such an easy, simple thing to do. And it's funny if you're like me, I'm one of those people that doesn't get asked that very often Mm -hmm. because we're the, we're looked at as the people who do that for other people. So Mm -hmm. I must not need that. But somebody asked me that yesterday and I got to be honest, I almost cried. I was like, you don't get asked it. And so I think about all the people who don't get asked that and are just going through things and they don't realize that there are people out there that are that want to make sure you're okay and not yeah. just, not just face value not how are you today good how are you the real nitty gritty raw that's yeah. what I think your your group and your events um, accomplish yes yes and that's the truth because you're absolutely right Ted. people don't ask you and i've been blessed that i have a few people who do that for me like they call me and just say real you know i just called to see how are you doing you know because a lot of people when you're in this field or this platform which is a blessing and i wouldn't change it for the world but some things sometimes you're dealing with things and everybody dumps everything on you so when it's, you know, so you're trying to fix everybody else's problem, but nobody truly comes to you and say, well, you know what, you know, I see you out here doing X, Y, Z. What are, are you okay? How are you feeling? So that was one of the reasons what brought me to do this event is just to, just to put in people's minds to just check on people, just check on people that you wouldn't originally check on. That's right. And, and don't hesitate. It can be one quick text to a phone call. Um, all right. So how do they register and attend the event? What's the best way for them to the best way for them to go is to go to www. I mean, yeah, www.wineandconversation.org. I mean, dot com. I'm sorry. I always get the two mixed. Um, go to there and um, register and get your ticket. The tickets are twenty five dollars. I do apologize, but VIP is absolutely sold out. And the vendor spots are absolutely sold out. So right now it's just regular admission. It's January the 29th from 2 to 7 at the Winter Park Community Center. Um, It's going to be an amazing event. I feel it. I know it. I have some great clinicians. I have great um, therapists that are going to be there. Um, We're going to have a lot of fun. There's music. There's food. There's vendors. And just networking. Someone told me the last one I had was like, oh, my God, I feel like I went to a family reunion. They've seen so many friends they hadn't seen since elementary and college and things. And it was like, oh, my God, this was just like a family reunion, a good feeling, just great to see people. And I just want people to network and get to know other people and just get the help that you need and just know that mental mental health is just as good as physical health you know you when you go check your body everybody's like oh yeah i got my numbers i'm good my well go and just have yourself evaluated just to make sure you're okay and you know your body so if you feel a certain way then just address it and check it it may be nothing but at least you know when you go check yourself that you'll say, okay, well, I've checked my mind, I've checked my body, and now I'm checking my spirit just to make sure, you know, you can be, you know, just a productive person because it's it's suffering 
when you don't get those helps that you need. You suffer silently and that uh, leads to other things. And I just want to be aware and people to be aware of that. So, all right. So just to clarify, is it wineandconversation.org or .com? .org. Okay. So it is .org. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. So guys, girls, that is, um, that is scrolling across the bottom of your screen. Uh, wineandconversation.org. Rhea, as always, you're a joy. Thank you so much for all you do in the community. You're Thank amazing. you. I'm excited for you in this event. Y'all reach out to me. I'll get you to Rhea. I've tagged her in this post. So uh, go to the website. If you have any questions, reach out to either one of us and I'll make sure I get you to Rhea and we will get you answered. Thank you again, my friend. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for always having me and supporting me. That really means so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much, Ted. You have a wonderful and wonderful day. You too. All right, y'all get out. We all have mental health stuff. That's okay. <laughs> no stigma. Go to wineconversation.org nope. and register to go on the 29th and reach out to Rhea. All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Until next.